be science would be, yeah, we discovered the moon. And so you go, great. Then you would like to know about the moon. You don't want to just say we've discovered this moon. It's a dot. That's fine. As you said, it, they're interesting. You want to characterize worlds. it in whatever yeah, so way you can. For that, you need a lot of them to, to observe. Mm -hmm. So, so, so it's, it's exciting, the, but, and it's challenging because I, I think for the first time, it's probably true to say in particle physics, we don't know if there's anything else just around the corner, which is bad, uh, you know, but it's also good. I suppose it's just science. I mean, ultimately well, then that's it's what, neither bad nor good. It's the way nature that's, is. That's what triggers whatever next round of physics is complete. Yeah. You know, you get people, you get those people that show up and say there's nothing left in physics to discover. Well, they'd be they show utterly, up every few decades. So utterly wrong. Yeah. That they're not <laughs> even worth <laughs> considering. I mean, you know, the, uh, there's tremendous progress being made. It's such an exciting time in fundamental physics mm -hmm. at the mm -hmm. moment. That, uh, not, not particle physics, not only particle physics, but we said gravitational astronomy, the, 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 the exploration of the force of gravity, black holes, quantum information, which is related to quantum computing and all sorts of, all that stuff is, is to me utterly fascinating.